today is day number nine of my little Pat McGrath Lab series that I'm currently running here on my channel. If you're new to the series or new to my channel, essentially I'm creating a very simple, everyday, wearable makeup look using one of my Pat McGrath Labs motherships or other palettes I have in my collection. I have 14 in total and today, day number nine, Utopian Dream, the newest mothership to the Mothership family and is very, very pretty, very, very warm toned. So we are going to create a look with this one today. Hopefully that sounds interesting to you and you're enjoying the series so far. Let's go ahead and do the YouTube things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. Utopian Dream today, one of my least favorite if I'm transparent in the Mothership family. It's just, it's just not my vibes right now. Look, if I turn back to a real warm tone, girl at some point then it probably will be more my vibes but right now I just I don't super love these three shades right actually these four I just don't super love them you know the rest of the palette I really like these two stunning these four stunning I just don't these four are not super super my jam but it is it is very pretty and if you love those warm tones then I could totally see how this would be your palette I'm very excited I hope that she brings out a new mothership soon usually it's around July so we'll see um, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here on my or well, using my refer 16 I should say I do find like I don't like how also these two are so similar to divine rose one they're a bit more muted than divine rose one but yeah I don't I don't super love that this they're, they're so similar I think they could have been a bit different let's just hope that the next mothership palette really is a bit different fingers crossed I'm excited to see what she launches for the rest of the year, actually, old Pat. It'd be very, very interesting. Hopefully we get some bronzes. So I'm just softly fluffing that through the crease there. And I'm going to build it up on the outer corner, really the same eye shape I do most days. It's just the one that really makes my hooded eyes look the best, I personally find. And I usually start with like squirling in this outer corner out here because this eye shape's a bit different. So I just find that works better. <laughs> I was editing, so like in real time in my life right now, I was editing my palette collection video um, that I've, I've been meaning to film for like seven months, but I was like kind of, daunt it wasn't as hard to film as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I was like feeling daunted about filming it anyway. Um, but I was like, oh, this kind of made me a little bit sad because I have so many beautiful palettes that I just want to use. Like, I just wish I had like six eyeballs, you know, then I could just, well, like six sets of eyes. Then I could do a different look with a different palette, like three different palettes a day. That'd be, that'd be nice. I'd like that. And then I realized like, I was like, oh, I could just, you know, make sure I'm using a different, well, I do try and use a different palette every day. And then I was like, oh my gosh, if I used like one of my palettes every single day, like I wouldn't be able to, I would only be able to use every single palette three times a year because I have like 83. Is that right? Maybe a little bit more than that. 160. Oh, it would be more than that, but still only like three or four times a year. So it really, when you like look at like how many palettes you have in your collection and you think of it like that, if you use one every single day for the whole year, you're like, oh, I'm probably not getting as much use out of these as I really would like to. I mean, some days you do make up twice, that kind of thing, but you know, generally on a general occasion, um, I'm gonna dip into this one just softly. So yeah, and then I was watching like Mer Morgan Turner's like 500 palette collection the other day and that was like, that would overwhelm me. I don't know, like it would be cool to have all those kinds of palettes and I think like obviously for her, that is her job and she does a really, like she's kind of like markets, I guess her channel content and her branding kind of thing is like trying all of the makeup and I, I, I see her point, like I don't look at her collection and think, that's, you know, that's ridiculous or whatever, because that's her kind of thing. Um, but for me, that just like, I kind of feel overwhelmed by that. And I'm like, oh, does she, like, I get it. Cause she was like, you know, I get my use out of all of these 500 palettes by creating content. And look, to be honest, a lot of the time for me, that's the case as well. Like I don't feel as bad about maybe not using some makeup if I've gotten some content out of it and I and I will get future content out of it. It is overwhelming, I think sometimes. And like, I don't like to see, I don't know. I get like, oh, I really want to use you. And then I get a bit sad that I can't kind of use a, a palette or a product as much as I want to. I don't even know what this kind of little spiel or rant is, but this is what's coming into my thoughts early this morning, if you're wondering. 
probably, well, obviously it's because I was editing my palette collection. I guess walking away from that, editing that video was more so just, I was inspired to use a lot of my own palettes more. Which is, I, I mean, I'm always inspired. I just don't have the freaking time, if I'm honest. Um, let's go ahead and take intensifiers. Like, you know, between a lot of the times when I put makeup on now, I'm honestly filming it for content because um, I just don't have time between working full time and all that kind of jazz. So I feel like if I was, I mean, I say this, I feel like if I was like a full time YouTube or content creator or whatever, I would obviously use my, like, use it all a lot more because I'd have more time in the day to kind of do multiple looks and, you know, multiple different types of content, I guess, which is probably the case. But, you know, even then it's still, you know, you're still busy, I guess. But I do have to cram an eight hour workday into my day. So, you know, I don't know what these thoughts is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's take my Delium 773 and I'm going to dip into the pink. This is my favorite shade in this palette. I just absolutely love it. It's so, it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to tap this on so anyway that's that's my thoughts for the day i don't really know what the point of that conversation was but that's my thoughts of the day i'd like to use my eyeshadow palettes more uh, i feel like i'm doing pretty good though i've got under 100. i'm actually going to do a declutter soon because there was a lot of palettes in my palette collection video i'll try and remember to link that video down below if, um if not it's just up on my channel uh, I'm taking this pretty much to the outer corner here, by the way, guys. I, I had a heap of palettes in that video that I was like, oh, I need to get rid of these. They're expired. Or I just am like, you're not going to use these. Just let it go. Just let it go. So I will film that maybe after I finish filming this Pat series. I think this video won't go up for quite a few weeks because I film so far in advance. And I'm excited to see if like when I upload this video, if I'll be up to 5k, like if we'll be up to 5k subscribers yet, because we're like only 130, sorry, 170 away at this point in time. So that's very exciting that 5,000 of you would like to subscribe to my channel. I'm not sure why, but I appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm just taking that first transition shade on that Refer 16 and just kind of buffing the edges a little bit just to marry that metallic pink and stuff together. Now, if you wanted to, like I've been saying in all these videos, if this is too deep looking for you, just don't do this step. If it's not deep enough, you could take more of this. You could go into another palette, take a deeper shade, that kind of thing. So just completely, you know, world is your oyster. You choose your own adventure. If you want to add more sparkle to this look, because this isn't sparkly enough, I would even take like this one just on my finger and like tap it over the top. I'm not doing that today because I actually just want this beautiful pink to shine through. Um, but that's what you could do. I'm gonna go and move through my base makeup, like speed through like I've been doing every day, and then we'll come back, finish up the lower lash line, mascara, lips, and all that jazz. So let's do that. Just let me love you. Just let me love you. 
face makeup is done, I have also put my Charlotte Tilbury black liner in the top waterline and the champagne in the bottom waterline, pretty much like every day. And I feel like if you've watched these videos or you're, <laughs> you watch most of the videos on my channel, you know exactly what I'm going to do on the lower lash line. I'm just going to take this shadow right here on my Delium triple seven shader brush. And then I'm just going to take a pencil brush and go into this one right here and just lightly pop that on the inner corner. That's literally it. I don't want to do much more than that today. I will say I recently did a summer bronzy, like a summer glowy bronzy look on my channel. And I did use a mixture of the Natasha Denona Bieber palette and this palette. I think I just used this shade from this palette. So if you're wanting something even soft, Star even, I would go check out that summer bronzy look. And even if you don't have the Natasha Denona Bieber palette, you could use any palette in your collection or even just your bronzer to get that pretty much that exact same look. So um, I'll recommend that. Also, I say this in every video as well, but just in case this is the only one you're checking out, I do have a Pat McGrath Labs playlist and I have a ton, and I mean a ton of looks with all of my mothership palette, like all of my Pat McGrath Labs palettes. Like I have a heap. I have glam, I have softer ones, I have all different kinds. So if you're looking for further inspiration, um, I would recommend checking out that playlist specifically. For mascara, I'm gonna take my Victoria Beckham Future Lash. I know a couple of you mentioned that this mascara for you got like really goopy and unusable after a few weeks, but mine has not done that. So I don't know what's different about mine, but I'm happy about that. <laughs> because it's expensive and I do quite like it. It's more of a natural lash. I wouldn't, it doesn't create like that super, super false lash, but I like it for the everyday and it doesn't irritate my eyes. I'm honestly gonna keep my lips so, so simple today. I'm literally just gonna take my Lawless uh, Forget the Filler in Velvet Lip Plumping Gloss and I'm just gonna wear this. All right, so let me zoom you back so you can see the finished look. Finished makeup look, what do you guys think? It's very pink, but I feel like it's still very a wearable pink because I feel like I've kept the rest of the face soft enough for my preferences to kind of just let the pink pop. And I feel like, I don't know, it's still a bit of a neutral pink. Anyway, for me, this is very soft and wearable. As I said, I'm literally about to go into the office and do meetings. So this is everyday wearable for me. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, that is the end of the mothership. So tomorrow we have four palettes left. I have two Bridgerton palettes, a quad and Celestial Odyssey. So that is the next four days. I'm not sure which order I'm going to do them in yet. It'll just be whatever. Actually, I'll probably do the quad tomorrow because I don't like the quad. <laughs> so we'll get that over and done with and we'll finish with the others. Anyway, Finished look. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. I appreciate you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It truly helps my channel out. It's, I just really appreciate it. And I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.